Hello all you happy YouTube viewers, this is Scrapman Joe. Today I'm going to take apart to scrap a battery backup unit. It's the kind that plugs into the wall, it acts as a surge protector and a battery backup if the power goes out for your computers or whatever. Inside of it we're going after two main items, the transformer which will be sold as an electric motor at least where I go and the battery itself which is going for a pretty good price right now let's get started okay guys this is the battery backup unit it has a place for six plugs it also acts as a surge protector this one also has a place for your ethernet and telephone cords and some kind of port there. I'm not really sure what that's for to be honest with you. Um, a lot of these units actually have a, a little plate that you slide off to access the battery so that you can replace just the battery if you want to but this one doesn't have one which is weird. Um, these are the tools I'm going to be using today. Uh, some Allen keys just in case. I'm not sure if I'm going to need those or not, but better to have them and not need them than to need them and not have them. Uh, standard and Phillips screwdriver, a pair of snips, and uh, a pair of pliers. Alright, this unit, to access it, has six screws that need to be removed which I've already done so let's take it take the cover off all right all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is you see where the power cord has been snipped off from the outside already I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and look at what's inside. I'm going to take my snips and clip a couple wires. Excuse me. Hang on a second. I'm right handed. Let's <laughs> see what's holding it up. I got one more wire here. Now, inside this cover here, where the plugs actually plug into, you have some brass uh, leads, I guess you call them. We'll worry about those later. They're so light that it takes so many to add up. But if you're already saving brass, throw it in with the brass. Um, it's pretty easy to get to. You take these screws out, pop it off, and then the brass leads are running the length of it. There's three of them. Back to the good stuff. This is the transformer. This is the battery. And this is a circuit board, which may or may not have anything good on it. We'll check that out. Uh, first thing I'm going to do with this part is take the battery out. Okay. Set it aside. It's probably a good battery to be honest with you. There's no uh, bowing when batteries go bad. Sometimes they blow up, they swell up. This one looks like it's in good shape. I don't really have a use for it, so I'll probably just scrap it, but it's a 12 volt battery. Now, let's go at the transformer by taking this screw out.
was the metal band that was holding it on. Okay. Yeah, that's all that it took. You see it's a nice size transformer. Actually about the same weight as the battery, believe it or not. So let's go ahead and clip these wires off of it. And there you have it. One transformer. And if you get close, you can see the copper windings in there. Some people like to take the copper out. I don't bother with it. I think it comes out to about the same, the same price. Okay, let's see what's left. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is figure out how to take this board out and these wires. It looks like there's a screw right there that I need to take off. Uh, that looks like that's it, to be honest with you. I noticed that this is the, um, that port that I didn't know too much about. Okay, but it looks like it's loose, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Let's see if I can get that screw out with my screwdriver. It looks like a tiny screw. I don't know if I'll be able to. That's all right. I'll get a smaller screwdriver here in a second. I'm not going to make you watch all of it, so I'm going to stop the video and start it again once I have this out. I think it's just that screw, and it'll come right out. And I'll go ahead and take these screws off and show you how to get these out, okay? Okay, guys, we're back. This came out just like we thought. That one screw was all that was holding it in. Right there. And what's left is this plastic shell. This is the board that I took out of it. These are the wires that were left on the board. There's a transformer on it. I'm sure some of you noticed there is a transformer there that you can take off if you want to and add it to the big one that we took out. Uh, I'm not going to because I'm just going to throw this in the pile of the uh, boards that I save like this for the next time I take these in. Um, this is this is the other half. Um, I took the screws out. This is the part where you actually uh, plug in the the plugs and whatnot. Okay. Um, I took the screws out. There was two on each side to hold this plastic cover on. I had these pieces of plastic to a plastic shell. And you see these are the brass leads. There's, uh, like I said, there's um, three on each side. So if you want to, you can go ahead and take this out. I'm going to clip off this little wire and add it to my wire collection. take these out. I'll go ahead and take those out. I think I'm going to need to pop them out with a screwdriver. And uh, I'm not going to make you watch that either. Be right back. Okay, we're back. These are the leads. All I needed was a pair of pliers to just pull them out. They came off real easy, believe it or not. Okay, so let's review. These are the tools that I used. I ended up having to get a couple of smaller screwdrivers because this one was too big to get that screw that held this board in. So um, I ended up using these, which I was pretty rough on. I'm going to have to service and sharpen those here in a minute. Um, some screwdrivers. Uh, pair of pliers and that was pretty much it and let's look at what, what, what we got out of it we got some plastic uh, post consumer grade plastic nobody around here uh, recycles that so I'm gonna end up throwing it away um, this circuit board which is currently um, 
two cent a pound I think for these uh, some brass which is doing pretty good it's been a while maybe a dollar fifty a pound um, some tin which uh, is ten cent a pound nine cent a pound maybe some low grade wire which is twenty cent a pound before I take it uh, battery which is twenty two twenty five cent a pound I think and this heavy I think this is heavier than the battery uh, transformer which is and it also go it, well it goes as an electric motor and that's 25 cent as well so there you have it any questions or comments just ask me my name's rapper Joe if you have any requests for something you'd like to see me take apart just leave a comment or send me a message and have a great day